this video follow like and subscribe for more okay so time check it's 5 a.m. Saturday November 12 and I'm currently working so let's start what is the name of the company that I am working as a VA so the name of our company is CyberVet. Yes, CyberVet. Um, as of now, we have three departments already. Una, CyberVet lang siya because they mainly focus on veterinarians in America. So, now, they are um, widening the networks that they are um, targeting. So, um, Meron na ngayong CyberMD, that's for the physicians and then cyber dent that is for the dentist so what does our company provides um, this company provides virtual assistance to veterinarians physicians and dentists sa America so they prefer medical degree graduate Filipinos preferably yeah ayun na nga cyber vet is very very young pa talaga because they started last year lang, 2021. Kaya, they are still accepting applicants, they are still hiring, and at the same time, they are still working on outsourcing more and more clients para sa mga Filipino VAs na currently belong na sa CyberVet. Um, marami nagtatanong kung kailan ako nag-start mag-work as a cyber vet, I started working this year, um, January 2022. But I was accepted sa company na ito, December 2021. Kaya, I forgot. Um, I believe uh, batch 30 something na sila ngayon. And me, I was batch 7 or 6. So, ayun, matagal tagal na rin. So, Let's say I am now working for 11 months or 10 months already with my clients sa CyberVet. Ayun, social media platforms ng CyberVet. We have Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and TikTok, and YouTube as well. But parang ang YouTube hindi pa um, na super updated. Kaya, you can follow the company CyberVet and together with the other departments, CyberMD and CyberDent, they also have a Facebook page and Instagram and LinkedIn accounts. So, let's talk about my experience working here in CyberVet. Um, during uh, the days na trainee pa lang ako, um, they are very um, accommodating, very kind. The staffs sa CyberVet are very professional and very well trained to handle us na mga Filipino applicants, VA Filipino applicants. So, they are very approachable as well. And the training is only um, five weekdays. And yes, until now, it's only five weekdays. Um, it's very short, yes, but it's very informative. And after five days, um, amazing sila kasi they still continue on conducting workshops, conducting extra.
extra trainings if you want a one-on-one -on -one, um, consultation if you want a one-on-one -on -one training about phone call or medical scribing so they really offer something like that so continuous yung learning mo kahit tapos ka na mag train and kahit waiting ka na sa client hindi ka um, matitenga kasi they still offer extra trainings for that and so um, I waited for a client I think that was almost a month I got a client he is a veterinarian sa uh, Kansas and my experience is it's a life-changing opportunity talaga um, cyber vet uh, a company that really helps Filipino virtual assistants mostly um, medical graduates na as of we know na napaka um, low compensated ng mga medical professionals dito sa Philippines. So when I discovered CyberVet, um, it's really a life changing at the same time. You are working at the comfort of your home and you are receiving a good salary. You can have more quality time with your family, most especially sa mga full time mom na you can be able to um, take care of your children while you are earning at home. Ayan. So, CyberVet does not require experienced VA as long as you're a medical graduate. And yes, if you want to apply, um, you can send your application here. And they require updated resume and one minute intro video so one minute intro video um you will stay there something about yourself your profession your working experiences your skills your hobbies something like that precise in a one minute duration not exceeding i think one and thirty seconds so yeah, preferably one minute. And for me, advice, kulang na you have to make your intro video very professional, catchy. Um, you have to wear formal attire if, if you have a, a lap gown like this or a white coat, that would be better. And make sure that your background is white. If not white, at least it's it's a light colored white background if you don't have a, a light colored background you can use let's say wallpaper or a cloth so that um, you intro video you know, um, very catchy and very professional thing that some of the clients not so ayun na nga, it's 5.20 in the morning kaya maraming mga manok <laughs> okay, tips and advices to other applicants. Ang dami mo naman ako. Okay, so advice ko lang no, sa other applicants. Um, kasi maraming nagme-message din sa akin. Maraming nagme din sa akin sa Facebook, sa TikTok account ko since I've been doing mini vlogs about cyberbed sa TikTok account ko. Um, tips ko lang talaga no, if, if you apply sa cyberbed and my schedule ka na for interview, you have to make sure that you can attend the interview. If not, like power interruption, emergencies, you have to tell the management ahead kasi yung management very strict sila in attending interviews because you know their time are very precious and it's it's a first impression sa kanila so advice ko lang you have to make sure and do your best to be able to attend the interview and 
if natanggap ka sa interview, so you are going to be trained for five days. After that, of course, this is the waiting game. Advice ko lang talaga, no? patience, patience, patience. Because the management are working very hard para makakita ng clients na swak sa uh, credentials natin. Because it depends din kasi no, kung yung profile natin um, swak dun sa profile na gusto ng client. Pag nakita nila yung credentials mo, yung resume, yung working experience mo, and they they think that I like this one or parang gusto ko maging VA ko tong, tong taong to. So, it depends din yun, no? So, wala talaga specific time range kung kailan ka magka-client. But my advice is patience. Um, continue learning. Kasi while um, maghihintay ka ng client, maraming ikakandak ang cyber vet team na extra training, workshop, and shadowing. Most especially sa mga medical scribe. Um, one of our medical scribers sa cyber vet um, is conducting um, shadowing sa mga gustong mag medical scriber. So, you can attend the shadowing and you can observe the medical scriber paano ginagawa yung scribing, paano niya sinusulat yung, ano, yung mga notes, yung clinical notes ng doctor. So, ganun. If you want a uh, to be a medical receptionist so my shadowing din de, din dyan na kinakanda sa isa sa mga virtual receptionist ng cyberfet so yun, continue continue learning um, have to patiently wait kasi by the time na may client ka na super worth it yung paghihintay mo bawing bawi lahat kasi um, as much as I can say very, very um, greatly compensated tayo dito sa company na ito na hindi natin natatanggap as a medical professional, medical health worker dito sa Pilipinas. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, in my next video, we're going to talk about the salary, kung magkano nga ba ang salary ng mga virtual assistant dito sa CyberVet. And comment down below kung ano pa yung mga gusto nyong gawin ko na video or vlog regarding sa CyberVet or ano yung mga questions nyo na gusto nyo i-elaborate ko pa through a video. And yeah, I think that's it. I hope uh, may natutunan kayo dito sa video na ito. Please, um, you can follow me sa TikTok. Andun rin lahat ng mga informations na makukuha nyo regarding this company. And don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe my YouTube channel uh, para ma-update pa kayo sa ibang um, vlogs ko regarding um, this company and some other work from home um, mini vlogs. Kaya, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye!